Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with McLaren. With the team revealing that Oscar Piastri was closer than expected to Lando Norris in Miami due to the upgrade situation, now McLaren brought a range of new upgrades to the car for the last race, with Lando getting all of them and Piastri getting half. Now despite a difficult start to the weekend for Norris, he went on to take a dominant win in the race, while Piastri ended up out of the points due to suffering damage and needing to pit just after the safety car restart. But Piastri had a really strong start to the race, with him on merit overtaking both Ferraris and keeping Max Verstappen in his sight for the whole first stint while he ran in second. His quality pace was also strong, with him just under a tenth slower than Norris, and team boss Andrea Stella noted Piastri's performance. He said, Consider that he didn't have the full package, and let me pay proper credit to Oscar, the gap he had to Lando in qualifying is smaller than the difference of the package he had. So he was really pulling off strong performance over a single lap in very difficult conditions, like all drivers with softs. His performance in the race was again very strong. Lando said something really nice before, he said by looking at Oscar overtaking a Ferrari, he got like, well we're actually there. So it was a realisation for Lando himself, and Oscar could keep a strong pace in the first stint. So even though Piastri walks away with no points from that race, he can walk away with the confidence that he has the pace to be at the front with Norris. And when you consider that he's yet to get the full upgrade package to his car, I think we're going to see Piastri win a Grand Prix at some point this year. But let's move on to Max Verstappen, who says he does not support the current point system used to grant Formula 1 super licenses. Now there are a range of requirements needed for a super license including being at least 18 years old and having completed at least 80% of two full seasons in single-seater series. And on top of this, a driver must also achieve a total of 40 points. Now the system was introduced after Verstappen made his Grand Prix debut at 17 in 2015, with him jumping into F1 straight from European Formula 3. But it has emerged that a request has been lodged with the FIA for Mercedes junior driver Andrea Kimi Antonelli to be granted a super license before he turns 18 in August. It's not clear where this request has come from, but following this, Verstappen said he wasn't a fan of the point system. He said, That rule was introduced because of me, of course. It's not specifically about him, but this can stop some talents from getting into Formula 1 quickly because they have to accumulate those 40 points first. I'm not a big fan of it, of this entire system. The FIA thinks it's good, but I'd rather not have it. If someone is 17 or 18 years old and has maybe 20 points, but if he's very fast, why can't he get into Formula 1 then? Now while younger drivers may be more inexperienced and have a lot of learning to do, they can also be on the pace pretty quickly. Verstappen for example seriously impressed in his debut year. With him pulling off mega overtakes on more experienced drivers, he also became the youngest ever driver to score a point, the youngest to finish on the podium and the youngest to win a race. So my view is that if a driver has made it to Formula 3 or Formula 2 and is showing very strong speed straight away and is winning a lot of races for example, it shouldn't be super license points stopping them from making the jump to F1 if they've proven that they're capable of getting into the sport earlier. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video for me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.